your tarot court. Read a, read any deck with confidence by Ethany Dawn. So you get an introduction, 11 chapters, appendix tarot court card cheat sheets, and a list of practicums and tarot exercises, which I can find, um, which I find sometimes can be very helpful when they have like a recipe index or the exercise index or whatever because like if you want to like redo some of the exercises or go back to like the practices or whatever you don't have to look through the entire chapter if you're looking for one specific exercise there you go <laughs> off randomness but there we go so it's a book specific to the core cards uh, chapter one, you're dealing with the structure of tarot. So there's a talk. There's talk of the entire deck. Um, you get an exercise and suggested uh, questions. So which can be very helpful. Yeah, you, yeah, you can still get the information from the book and or any book, but sometimes you need that like what did you learn kind of thing from it. So, and then chapter two, is the tarot court dated? It's more like two pages and to me more of an, more of opinion with some information. So this could be a whole like small essay or whatever, or conversation. Um, but she, um, Anthony puts it in there. So chapter three, titles, gender, and physical identities. It's again another short chapter. You get about four pages. So at least with the copy that I have, I don't know if they're gonna really add any more. But I have the net galley. Neck alley one, so <laughs> there we go. Uh, what they would look like, some information, and a little bit of personal opinion. Chapter four tarot elemental association, so this one is more information based. Chapter five deals with astrology, the zodiac, and the cork cards. So, with that. I don't know if it will fully. Okay. So that's as far close as I can get without it being totally weird. So that's. If you can somewhat see, that's the setup. You get um, a few like Earth's, Earth sign family. So it's not like here's one fam sign family, here's another. It's continuously move, um, right goes straight from the next. But you get the Queen of Wands, Sun sign Aries, born between 21st March and 20 April. Sun sign keywords, Sun sign personality traits, and you're getting maybe two for each one. So you do get that. So if, so, I don't know where I was going with that point, but yeah, <laughs> it can be a good thing to have if you are the type of person to bring those associations in to your reading. I'm, I don't know where to start with astrology and all this, so if that is your thing and you like both of them and can bring it in together. Small section in this book, at least for the core cards. So chapter six, predicting timing with the core card seasons, timing of each suit. So you get, the court tells us when. Um, so the seasons, 
Wand, Summer, Swords, Autumn, Cups, Spring, Pentacles, Winter, the Court Cards, Pages, Days, Nights, Weeks, Queens, Months, Kings, Years. So, and like it kind of deals with those types of timings. So, which can really add into, into a reading if you're doing, what do the next three months look like? Say, April, May, June. Oh, those three months are more of, say, spring. So, if you could do, like, the cuff, the suit, if you just want to do a specific section of the core of tarot as a whole cups would be would be it so if you want to kind of do a reading that way you got that hierarchy rules and the progression of the tarot court so it's just basically going through each one with a mantra what it would mean keywords in like a meaning or whatever Archetypes, uh, love connections, pop culture representations. So, and like this, um, this would be for like the archetypes. So it would like have like two Im images for each card. And then it goes into a few pa pages of like what the archetype would mean. So that would be for like Queen of Cups archetype the mystic the priestess and the psychic in love and relationships at work and career and then like some bull bullet points of, the, of a few lists so and then so and same with like the love connection type thing it has that as well and then you got some tarot spreads afterwards wow did not expect this review to go this long, but whatever. I'm going chapter by chapter, so yeah. And then the appendix is just a summary of each card. And it does have a nice selection in the bibliography. So if you want to have more of a focus on the court cards, this is more a more updated release for you to have a look at. It is a Llewellyn publication, so depending on if if you like Llewellyn or if it isn't your favorite publisher, but like there's a lot of out there by Llewellyn, so there you go. But I found it to be an easy to understand book on the core cards. So, but yeah, your terror court. Happy readings.